Uh, may I ask what grade you're in? I'm 12. That's great. Terrific. How long have you been at this school? Three years. Three years. So you went to a different high school before here. Yes. Um, was it a Buffalo Public School? Yeah. 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 Burgard. Burgard. Yeah. Uh, how was your experience at Burgard? Absolutely terrible. I'm guessing so because you're here. <laughs> um, so can you talk a little bit about that? It is just... I go to school to learn. It's mandatory. You're supposed to learn. When you don't learn, what's the point of going to school? You know, it's like, I try. I try. It's hard when you can't learn. I mean, you have teachers trying to teach you, but they're not teaching you, and they're not there. What's the point? So you're saying teachers aren't there? Yeah, because I failed U.S. history. My freshman year, they made me take it. They said, oh, you're coming out of eighth grade. You already took U.S. history. You got it just a bit. You might as well just take it as a freshman. Okay, fine. It's fine with me. The teacher was never there. At all. She was never there. I would never knew what she was. I always had a substitute. I never really learned. So it just caused me to fail. Mm -hmm. I just never could complete the work at all. I didn't know what I was doing. Was teacher absenteeism pretty rampant in the school? Would you say it happened in other classes too? Or was this an isolated I mean, incident? Or? I'm not pretty sure. I mean, we did have a lot of absences. There were a lot of substitutes. And, I mean, it's Burgard, so it's all about fun. You got a substitute, you let other kids come in. You're not supposed to be in there. It's just it's just a place to have fun, pretty much. So, how did it come about that you decided to transfer out? What was, what well, was the process? Well, actually, they told me if... Well, it was my mom's idea. She said, well, you can stay at Burgard, but you have to get an 85 or higher in the, in the fourth quarter. I couldn't do that. There's no way I could possibly learn to. And then they said that the summer school there was a month. But they told me it was two weeks here. So, a month of summer school or two weeks. I mean, I was lazy, so I came here. It was just, I never expected this school to be like this, though. I thought it was just. What's it like? It's amazing. I actually learned, I feel better about myself. When I came here, I had nothing, I had classes with seniors, and so they all had jobs, and it made me want to go get a job. So, 14, I got a job working at a corner store. Wow, so you were in, as a sophomore, in classes with seniors. Yes. So, is it like that? throughout the school that you're in this mixed environment? No, not anymore. I mean, last year was my last time with it because I had classes with juniors and because uh -huh. I took, when I failed U.S. history, I didn't take Global One. So when I, I came see. here, I had to take Global One. Right. So I was in a class full of freshmen. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. So what would you say the academic environment is like? Is it harder? It's, it's not. I wouldn't say harder. I say it's more positive. Like, it gives off a good vibe. And good vibes, it attracts you to that. You know, like you want you want to be around positive people. You want to learn. So it sounds like, from what I'm hearing from most of the students we've spoken to, that there's a lot expected of you here. Oh yeah. But it, there's a lot of support as well. Is that yeah. true? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, teachers they care for you. Here it's like it's like a family. You know, when you're part of a family, you care for your family and you want to help them. Mm -hmm. Even even you could be the worst student ever. They're gonna still help you. They're not gonna look at you differently. They just notice you struggle, and they're going to try to help you the best way they can. Mm -hmm. that seems really important. It is. Before Burgard, were you also in the Buffalo Public Schools? Yeah. yeah. What, did you have a good experience before? I mean, not not really. I wasn't really that hard with like a good working student. I, I was always lazy. They've always been lazy. This is how I am. Mm -hmm. But if I had to, I tried. If I had to do it, I tried. Like graduating eighth grade, I had to do that. So I did put my heart into it. Just work out. So, how's your laziness now? <laughs> well, it's better. I mean, I'm still lazy. <laughs> it's just, I'm going to work hard for, for what I need to do. It's for me, if it's to better my life, I'm going to do it. It's good no to hear. It's really great to hear. So, what are your college plans? My college plans, I want to go to UCC for two years, just for my basic studies, get my associates. And then, I mean, my dad, he wants me to go work with him in, out in the factory, but he wants me to have more experience than what he has, so I can pretty much be in higher levels in the factory. Than right. Yeah, yeah cuz even in those jobs the higher ed is required. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Yeah. Congratulations. Sounds like you're on a terrific path and I'm glad things have worked out for Just you. Just trying. You're doing great. <laughs> Keep it up. Nice to meet you. Nice Thank to meet you so much. No problem.